if we could change the color of our skin like chameleon. I would love it, but since that's not the case, at least oh, I can yeah. create a color changing phone case. Get a transparent nail polish ready and place a little paper funnel in the opening. Pour in a bit of color changing pigment and ta-da, you have a color changing nail polish which you can use on your nails or on your phone case like me. All we gotta do is cover the entire phone case with this color changing potion. At a normal room temperature, you will have a black phone case. However, when the temperature rises above the certain level, the pigment will become transparent and the case will become yellow again. This is nicely visible when you're charging your phone or even when the air temperature rises on a hot summer day. When you pour cold water on the case, the color changes to black. This is so epic and totally magical. How pretty are these colored decorative stones? I'm a little bit obsessed with them, so let's use them to decorate a phone case. This is going to be a mosaic inspired creation. You can make any shape or pattern of your choice. I decided for simple horizontal lines. If you're using a plastic phone case, a hot glue or super glue will work fine. But if you have a silicone or rubber phone case, then I suggest you use silicone as your glue. If you don't have decorative stones like these, don't worry. You can just pick some outside in the nature or by the sea. It will still look epic for sure. Sure. If you want to have a happy phone case that will always bring a yeah. smile on your face, look no further. Use a leaf or a similar rounded object to sketch a circle on a piece of foamy paper. Cut it out using scissors. Next, place the circle on the sole plate of the ironing machine. The heat will shrink and slightly bend the foam circle. Carefully remove it and leave to cool down. Time to draw a face to this awesome 3D circle. Of course, I went for a super happy expression. Stick it on the phone case together with a bunch of other emojis. This phone case has such a fun foamy 3D texture and the emoji squad just makes me super happy every time I see them. What an adorable little bunch! Grab a big yeah. bottle of any kind of soda you like to drink and peel off the sticker. Cut out the piece that fits your phone and place inside a transparent case. Pop the phone in the case and the Coca-Cola phone case is finished. Something about it makes it look so old school and retro, which I really like. There's this big trend with brand logos on hoodies and t-shirts going on right now. What is your favorite fuzzy drink to have? I've been really good lately and I'm pretty much only drinking water and herbal tea. But I still love me a cooled glass of cola once in a while. Something about puffy paint just makes me so excited. So of course we need to make a phone case design using these colorful puffy cuties. This time I decided to go for a colorful Aztec pattern. The first row is a blue zigzag shape followed by the straight pink and green lines. Continue adding more colorful rows in different shapes like dots, waves, vertical lines, V shapes and so on. I like me those big furry in your face phone cases. But sometimes you just want something small and dainty to fit in your pocket or a purse. When I was little, I used to make wall arts by painting the palms of my hands with acrylics and making colorful prints on a canvas. This fun painting method has inspired my next DIY phone case. I decided to jazz up this plain black case with a bunch of colorful hands. You can buy pre-cut shapes like this or cut them yourself out of a foamy paper. Glue them on the case and you're good to go. I love this one so much. It is very slick, yeah. which is great for when you want to put your phone in the pocket or a handbag. I also love how the primary yellow, red, blue and green Green colors pop against the dark case. So cool! Fishnet socks are a great crafting mm. tool. Remember when I used them to make awesome mermaid makeup? It was so much fun! I wanna try a similar technique on my phone. The result will be an epic silver snake skin phone case. Take a phone case and a fishnet sock. Pop the case inside the sock and we're ready for painting. I chose silver spray to paint mine. Make a few thin coats of spray until you reach the desired opacity. This is just perfect for me. Grab a pair of scissors and cut the sock away to reveal your awesome creation. Whoa, that's epic! I love the dark blue and silver combination. It would be so cool to even use second color like pink. We definitely need to give it a go next time. watching YouTube videos on my phone. But in order to do that comfortably, I need to make a phone stand ASAP. 
Start with a few colored clay strips. Take them in your hands and twist so you get a wider swirly clay rope like that. The more you twist the clay, the marblier your design will be. Form a ball and roll the clay between your hands. Place it on the flat surface and roll it out just like you do when you're baking cookies. Alright, our marble dough is thin enough so it's time to cut a rectangle out of it. Use a rectangular piece of paper as a guide for a pretty and neat result. Remove the side cutouts and check it out. We've got a perfect clay rectangle. Take any wider pen like this big whiteboard marker and place it under the clay on one side. On the other side use a pencil to roll the clay up like this. Leave your clay to harden if you're using air drying clay like me or bake it as advised on your package. A few hours later my phone stand is all set. I can now finally watch my favorite YouTube videos all cozy and comfortable. You can have this phone stand on your desk or on a bedside table and it will give a lovely pop of color to your room. A room decoration and useful phone stand in one. Oh, I'm so lonely. Whoa, are you for real? Can I pet you? Oh no. Actually, I have an idea. Sketch cat ears, nose and whiskers on a phone case. Next, take a transparent nail polish and apply it on top making fairly thin stripes. While the polish is still wet, take some loose glitter and pour it all over the phone case. I love this holographic silver glitter so much. After a few minutes the nail polish will dry and glitter will stick onto it. Shake the case a little bit and let the rest of the glitter fall off. We're left with an adorable glittery cat shape on our phone. Switch out the glitter colors and make other shapes like heart, a golden sun or a palm tree for example. There's so many epic options, so go grab your glitter and have a ton of fun crafting. Silicone works great to make so many different phone case designs. How about fluffy clouds on the blue sky? Um, yes please! Make silicone clusters of dots close together and the result is pretty white cloud. Add more of these fluffy cuties to fill up the entire phone case and leave the silicone to set. I love how this turned out. <laughs> so simple but adorable at the same time. I really need to make more DIY projects using silicone. The 3D texture that it gives is just amazing. Whoa, this matte lipstick is so beautiful, but also super dry and just makes my lips all cracked and not pretty. Especially when it's a bit colder outside, we need to take extra good care of our lips. Easy peasy when you can have a real lip spa on your phone case. Grab a little container and let's make it all pretty by drawing a watermelon on the lid. Because yes, we want the phone case to be functional, but it still has to look beautiful, am I right? Make a green outline, color the center in red and draw a bunch of black seeds on top. On the second pot, I drew a slice of orange. Let's fill it up with orange sugar lip scrub. Mix together some sugar, honey and orange food coloring. Optionally, you can add a few drops of orange flavor to the mixture. Give it a good stir so that all the ingredients get incorporated evenly. Transfer the mixture into the rounded container. It smells like freshly squeezed orange juice. Delish! Cover the pot with the orange lid and let's proceed with the watermelon lip balm. Mix a drop of red food coloring in about a teaspoon of Vaseline. Cover the pot with your watermelon lid and stick the lip scrub and lip balm to your phone case. Fill the empty spaces with stickers, jams or other decorations. I have these cute fruit slices and they work perfectly for my fruity phone case. I'm extremely happy that I can have a proper lip spa built in my phone case. Exfoliate your lips with yummy sweet orange scrub to remove dead cells and increase blood circulation. Follow with a thin layer of tinted lip balm which will not only keep your lips smooth, plump and healthy but it will also give you a gorgeous rosy glow. Pandas are one of my favorite animals so I wanna have one on my phone case forever and ever. Print a picture of bamboo forest cut it out to fit your phone and place inside a clear phone case. So quick but super cute and also handy for situations when you feel a bit anxious and stressed. It is no secret that I love playing with squishies because they are so satisfying and fun. And this panda phone case is just that, fun, happy and will definitely make sure that I never get bored. Who will wanna have a transparent case on their phone? Definitely not me, we need to fix it ASAP. Take any kind of glitter glue, I went for this beautiful sparkly blue version. Squeeze a generous 
less amount of glue inside the foam case and distribute it evenly across the entire surface. I like to use a brush which makes it easier to get into all the corners. The glue is now evenly distributed so we can lay back and wait for about a day or until it completely dries. Such a fun and different way of decorating a foam Whoa. case. I am loving it! It's yeah. so dainty and elegant. It would be so cool to try this DIY with more glue colors. You could make stripes, different shapes or even use blue and purple for the galaxy. BRB, I have to make this happen right now! Whether they're small, big, fluffy or not, we all know that my love for pom-poms runs deep in my veins. These colorful cuties will help us create an adorable caterpillar phone case. Start by applying some hot glue on the back of a large pom-pom and stick it to the plain case. Now glue smaller pom-poms close to each other in a pretty curved shape like this. A pair of googly eyes is always a great idea. If you don't have them, you can simply draw a pair of eyes with a marker. However you decide to make your caterpillar, it will turn out awesome for sure. I mean, look at it, what a cutie, right? It took us less than a minute to make this beautiful phone case and I love it to pieces. Me and my caterpillar friend are ready to take on Hello? the world. Hope you enjoyed watching this video and will try to make awesome DIY phone cases yourself. Let me know in the comments what videos you want to see next and I'll see Hi. you very very soon. Love ya! Bye!